Small and medium-sized enterprises, they're the motor of Europe's economy and we depend on the products and services that they offer, whether it's buying a sandwich for your lunch or getting your computer fixed or your hair cut. SMEs are everywhere, sustaining the economy and providing jobs. But these are tough times for businesses and the question is, how can the EU support SMEs in the current climate? And it's a question that MEPs on the Parliament's Industry, Research and Energy Committee have been grappling with this week. The committee has voted to approve a report authored by an Austrian member of our group, Paul Rubig. He's long been one of the Parliament's foremost defenders of SMEs. The report looks at what the EU can do to help SMEs develop more business opportunities and enhance their competitiveness, both in Europe and around the world. The report is the result of a long listening process. The truth is they want to sell their products and services and so we have to put away the burdens which they meet every day in the daily business. 85% of the new jobs in Europe were created by SMEs. So we should have a strategy how to get the young unemployment into the area of self-employment. For the EPP group, small and medium-sized enterprises are not only the backbone of the economy, they're at the heart of community life. And because they're often family-owned, they play a vital role in making our society stronger. So the group sees support for SMEs as an extension of our European values. But helping these businesses to grow makes sense from an economic point of view as well. And as the report makes clear, the potential of a more dynamic SME sector is vast. In uh, problematic uh, times, uh, said the big companies hire and fire. In small companies, in self-employment uh, companies, they stay and they give a lot of stability to the overall economy. So it's very important to not only address the big international moving uh, companies, I think it's much more important for Europe to take care on the self-employed and on the small and medium-sized entrepreneurs. In order to play their part in reviving Europe's flagging economy, SMEs need to be enabled to move forward. And that means a practical focus on removing some of the barriers and red tape that prevents them from expanding their operations elsewhere in Europe. For the EPP, the completion of the EU single market is absolutely vital. And with the 20th anniversary of the single market now approaching, our group wants to ensure renewed attention on breaking down those obstacles to business that still remain. But for Mr Rubig, regulation alone is not enough. I think the most important uh, question is a philosophic question uh, to make entrepreneurship attractive again. What do we have to do that young ladies, young women, uh, young migrants uh, start to run their own business? And I think that's a very important message uh, we in EPP are the uh, group which fights for the SMEs and for self-employment and I think that's a story which we have to sell much better than we did up till now. And in the coming weeks EPP TV will be marking the 20th anniversary of the single market with a series of special programmes looking at its past, current and future contribution to European integration. For more information on our group's activities please visit our website eppgroup.eu Thanks for watching and see you again soon.